Doesn't that look delicious? And some spinach, Spanish rice, cauliflower rice, and some homemade chips, yummy, delicious, and some pico, pico de gallo, yummers. And we are drinking mango peach flavored water today. Oh my gosh, look at that. Doesn't it look delicious? Happy Taco Tuesday. What's up, Yummy Bites? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all already see it. Y'all already know I'm excited. It's Taco Tuesday up in this piece. We are drinking mango peach flavored water today. Uh-huh. Yes, y'all. Mm. Delicious. Let's pray. Amen. Who is ready for this mother flipping muck bag? Yes. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Mm -mm -mm. What do y'all normally like to eat on Taco Tuesday? Mmm. Yum. Mmm. This is hot. Mmm. This sauce I made. It's so good. Absolutely delicious. Y'all let me know what y'all eating. Are y'all eating with me?
Aren't y'all glad I made a plate? <laughs> Who noticed? I usually eat out of the casserole dish. That's enough of that. <clears throat> so how's everybody been doing? Y'all. So I found out some stuff about the uh, Mike Tyson fight. I already knew it was like kind of like uh, set up or whatever, but I didn't know the contract rules, allegedly. Y'all. her back up here <laughs> this wig is too small for my head so anyway um so in the contract excuse me per the contract allegedly it says that mike couldn't um put like do any uppercuts there's certain punches he couldn't do he couldn't knock him out y'all that's why <clears throat> he was up there looking crazy when I tell you that um, somebody from TikTok, I swear, I hope that they don't ban TikTok because when I tell you I have learned so much from TikTok just over these past couple of years and I've learned in my entire freaking life. And I was just saying that. Um. I was talking about Mike, right? No, wow, man! I learned something. Oh my goodness! I completely forgot what I was gonna say, but anyway, <clears throat> that was very strange. Um, cause I was on the road. I was about to tell y'all something. Um, y'all, this is really freaking ridiculous. Are you serious? Let me eat. <laughs> if I remember, I'll, I'll tell y'all. But there's something I want to say. Mm. Mm. Finally did my nails, y'all. And I didn't even glue them on. These are sticky tabs. Because I'm waiting for the ones I really want to wear. But I'm starting to really like these. <laughs> Honestly, they're those duck nails. And I didn't think I was going to like them on my hands. But I do. I love them. Mm. Yeah, but... um, Mike, he, he did a really good job. Of, you know, acting like he was just the old man who couldn't uh, beat Logan. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all know it was so many people that felt the same way about that fight? Because remember when I told y'all that it was physically making my stomach hurt to watch it for the little bit of time that I did? A lot of other people said that they didn't watch it because it made them sick just to think about it. Y'all. Yeah. I'm like, wow, here we go again. Everybody's feeling the same way once again. What is really going on here? Why are we all feeling the same way? But anyway. <clears throat> and I heard that 
that interview that I saw was not even from that fight night, from, from that night. It was from some years ago about him saying that it's not in his heart anymore and um, sorry I let y'all down or something like that. I heard that that was from another fight. Anyway, you just don't know what's, what the truth is. Excuse me, at this point. Mm. Now my cucumbers are hanging in there. And we've been having like some fast winds today for some reason. I don't know why. Mm. Mm. When I tell y'all somebody did something so evil to me today, I was like, wow. And it be your own people. It be your own people, y'all. I'm just like, damn, sis. <clears throat> Why you had to do that? <clears throat> did I do something to you? I know this person. Like, what did I do to you? I swear y'all, I just don't understand folks and like their motivation to do certain things. I was just like, wow. <clears throat> but anyway, I know I'm not telling y'all exactly what the person did, but I don't want to just in case they're watching. You know what I'm saying? They probably are because how weird what they did. <laughs> uh, And I'll tell y'all, this job, this social media thing, is not for the week at all. I feel like somebody in my shoes would have been quit. I mean, probably years ago. With all the things that people have done, y'all, to try to hurt our family. Out of control. Did y'all hear about pneumonia going around? They said the emergency um, area of the hospital is filled with people with pneumonia. Adults and kids. First it was just the kids, remember? Adults too. I'm like, wow. Wear a mask. Okay? That's all I can really say, you know, to do, honestly, is wear a mask. Um, oh, and y'all, a lot of this stuff that we've been hearing and everybody's been afraid of what's going to happen since, you know, Donald is, uh, you know, going to be the president. As far as we know, there's a lot of people that are very, very hopeful that there will be a recount for Kamala because of these emails that she keeps sending People, y'all, have y'all been getting any of these emails from Kamala? Because I haven't even gotten one at all. And I'm like, dang, why am I not a part of the group? Yeah, but anyway, I know everybody didn't get the emails, but I wonder, like, who, like, why were certain people able to get these emails? Anyway, it's alluding uh, to the fact that, you know, for people to donate to the fund for a recount. So, it didn't say when the recount's supposed to happen, any of that, I don't know. And who knows if it's even true, okay? So, <clears throat> people are just trying to hold on to any type of glimmer of hope, y'all. I've moved on. <laughs> Honestly, it is what it is. And we just gonna have to fight back. You know, people are already ready to go. You know, they already fighting. 
with the nominations. Like, that's a whole nother thing, y'all. Like, can y'all believe that? Literally, we're going to have a felon president with all kind of just, just a criminal, okay? And then everybody that he is trying to um, hire or nominate or whatever are criminals too. Like, what? And, you know, it's some people that like the fact that it's going to be nothing but criminals in the White House. People, Some people like that. I, 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 don't, I don't, you know. There has to be some type of standard. You know what I'm saying? But if the president could be a felon and be a president... They need to take that um, felony question off of every single application. I know we've already talked about this before, but still, they need to take it off. Because that's not even fair. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> and I wonder why, who made that law that you couldn't have a, a job if you were a felon? You know, certain jobs if you were a felon. And I feel like it depends on what it is. You know? Um, I don't think that people that have felonies should be discriminated against. You know, because they made a mistake or two. I don't know. You know? Maybe a three. But they're still supposed to be able to make a living. So why would you make that a stipulation? You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people with felonies. A lot. Including me. Okay? That's why I'm so blessed to do what I do. I ain't got to worry about filling out an application and being worried about that. Because, I, girl, I remember when I was. When I tell you sometimes, you know, I'm not, I'm not even about to tell all my business. Because I was about to spill it all, girl. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Let's just say, <clears throat> I started to learn how to get by and get jobs. Mm. I'm kind of being full. Mm-hmm. Mm. I messaged me and said, Yummy, can you read the comments again? And I hope that you ain't trying to set me up. Um, let's see if I have any. Oh, this is from the last video, though, y'all. I'm probably going to wait until tomorrow to read uh, comments. Because I'm not either. I'm not going to remember what we was talking about in that last video. For real. <laughs> it's been overnight. It's been, what, two days? <laughs> mm. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> anyway, um... Oh, this is what I wanted to say. Okay, so <clears throat> people are saying that, uh, that like, why did Mike agree to that? Like, why did he agree? He agreed to it because he was getting paid $20 million. And y'all, another stipulation was they had to fight at least to, the I believe, the seventh or the eighth round or something like that. Anyway, they went all the way through to the eighth round. Okay, and I know people who are like big fans of Mike. He know they know like when he would m make certain moves, and he wasn't making none of these moves. So while it was going on, people people knew, you know, that it was like a setup or whatever. But I don't understand like why Jake Paul isn't looked at like a punk because how weak is that? Why would you? Make him sign something that he couldn't uppercut your stupid ass. <laughs> like, what? It ain't no what. Like, Mike Tyson is a legend. 
are you kidding me? I wouldn't have given my time to Jake. I wouldn't have. I don't, you know, wait a minute. He was doing it for $20 million. Yeah, I would have did it. Yeah, I would have did it. Especially if he was having, you know, troubles. You know what I'm saying? Taking care of his family. That's going to do a lot. And I hope Mike Tyson is charging for all these interviews that he's doing. They need to do a documentary on his life. Why they haven't done that? That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Or a Lifetime movie. Something on his life. For real. He needs to be getting paid right now for everything. I wouldn't be doing nothing for free, honey. Not a nothing. Mmm. This is last bite. Mmm. And something else important happened today. I was like, oh. I need to talk to them about this. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> I don't know if y'all were like watching Candace when, um, I don't know why y'all can't stand her. I can't either, honey. But, I don't know, she like, sometimes, sometimes I like certain things that she says, but as a whole, no, I don't, um, anyway, she wanted to be in that White House so bad. Have y'all seen the, the people that he's picked already? The picture? When I tell you there's not one black person, not one. And I don't even know why Candace thought that she was going to get picked. Because she's, she's like, that's what she is to me. Like a pick me type of girl. Yep, that's what I said. Anybody got something to say about it? I don't care. Just be respectful. She's a pick me girl. She screams that to me. Um, pick me, pick me. I want to be in the White House. Um, did Donald even call? He's not worried about you. He just wanted you to promote him to the black people. Good job, Candace. You know what I'm saying? Um, but no, he was never going to let you in that White House, honey. I don't think. He didn't let the two other black guys in there that was all up his behind. They're not in there. I'm like, wow. I wonder if they were expecting that or if they, you know, thought that they were going to get picked. Like, he didn't pick one black person. I guess it's not going to fit this administration. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But Donald Trump, he loves black men, right? Black people. No, he said black men. He's so annoying, I swear. So annoying, but guess what? We got to deal with him. We have to deal with them. Didn't I just say I wasn't gonna eat another bite? Okay, I'm full. I've been full. This is so good. Yeah, they got memes going around about them three is two two black men and and Candace. She probably couldn't, he probably couldn't give her a job because of her stance on Israel and Palestine. You know what I'm saying? She's on the side of Palestine. That's when I had agreed with her, when she was telling her feelings about that. But everything else, oh my God, that stuff that she said about George Floyd, that was just disgusting. I will never forget about that. Just disgusting about somebody who was a murder in front of everybody's eyes. You talk about his background. Like that fucking matters. Excuse me. It don't matter. Not his background. He's not here no more. And he ain't do nothing wrong. He 
I have a piece of chip stuck. <laughs> stuck up here. <clears throat> Let me tell y'all something. Guess what this lady, this is white lady, going around, she had made this video talking about, um, I heard that uh, liberals are supposed to uh, attack white uh, uh, Republican women or white women who voted for Trump. They're supposed to attack them, liberals, meaning uh, Democrats are supposed to attack white women. Like, what? She just made up out of thin air and she pulled out these tights. And I, maybe she was trying to promote these tights that she was saying. She's like, but I'm going to be wearing these or something like that. You could put your piece right here and whatever. Okay, they call some type of defensive tights or something. I don't even know. But she just made that lie up, y'all. Do you know how dangerous that is to say that on the internet and it went viral yeah to, to put something like that out there how in the fuck is anybody gonna know who you voted for unless you're always in a trump hat or a trump t-shirt or you know like how is somebody gonna know who you voted for and attack you that shit don't even make no sense y'all know it don't make sense but anyway, uh, a bunch of people supposedly got her account taken down, but I think she got it restored. But she put her account on private now because everybody is coming after her. Like, her own people. Like, why would you do that? Why would you put that big-ass lie out there? That's how rumors start, y'all. That's how it starts. And easily, if people didn't nip that in the bud real quick, People would have just ran with that. Can you imagine what they would have turned into? Ridiculous, y'all. People are crazy. Oh, my God. Y'all, I've been thinking about getting a 12-inch bob. But the bobs with the... um. The side part. I don't want the middle part, Bob. I mean, I'll try it, but I want the the twelve inch. I seen this girl. She had on a yakky straight one. <gasps> yeah, that's what I want. A yakky straight one. I don't want no silk straight, Bob. You know what I mean? That yakky straight. It looks like a wrap. Oh, so freaking cute. I'm gonna try to see if the company wants to send it to me. Because I have a feeling it's going to be super cute. <laughs> and y'all probably going to want to buy it. So. Oh. Okay, y'all. Uh, yeah. That's it. Oh, let me tell y'all something else that I realized today. Literally. Okay, yes. Guess what I realized? I realized that the lashes that I usually wear that I love so, so much were too big for my eyes. Yeah, I'm just now realizing this. Um, they were too big for my eyes, y'all. When I would wear them, I would see them. And remember how I would always complain and say that um, I feel like there's something in my eye every time I put these lashes on and it was those particular lashes right and I, you know i would wear them every day and i would take the glue off of there and you know and i'm thinking that they would be clean or whatever obviously there was some build up somewhere honey because i put on a new pair today a more more of a uh, demure pair of lashes they're not as thick as the other ones um I don't see them. I barely feel them on my eyes, y'all. I just need to put another pair on. That's what it was. Like there's, I don't feel like there's any debris in my eyes. I, like I, I swear to God, I, I don't know. I need to throw those other ones away, period. Like anyway, so I'm just so happy to even try another lash, y'all. This is more of a like a cat eye 
lash I feel. Anyway, I love them. But, um, yeah, y'all. So, the food. Ugh. God, just absolutely delicious, y'all. I was really craving some enchiladas. I know I asked y'all what, sh what should I do, um, but I probably shouldn't have asked because I had just made it my own mind. I was like, enchiladas it is because, ugh, I just was craving it. Um, 100 out of 10, okay? 100 out of 10 for the mother flipping win. Okay. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Okay. Follow me on the family blog channel. Follow me on the cooking channel at Cooking Keto with Yummy Bites. Okay? And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh-uh-uh-uh. Hey, 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 uh-uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.